there and welcome back to another episode of the 32 Pint Rant and today we are looking at not only the zip drive, well the zip discs but the zip drive and we'll look at what you can actually do with a zip drive in the 21st century. Okay so I've got the zip drive connected to my laptop here and I'm going to put the disc in, make some noises, clicks, a wee bit. Okay, that's it. Now over to the computer. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on, focus. Focus. There we go, right. And if you look, the zip drive is not there. The next method would be to be looking at practical troubleshooting solutions. For example, go into device manager and we don't find anything. Ah, that's a problem and a half. So that kind of rules out using that over there with this over here. How about I just show you how violent this thing is when you eject a disc. So I've put my disc in, press the eject button. This is, this is pretty scary. I know for a fact that this drive is the parallel port model. It's connected to the parallel port on the rear, but it just doesn't want to boot up properly. Well, that was a tad disappointing to say the least. So what I'll do now is I'll mess about with it and hopefully try and get it working. Hopefully. That laptop is a bit of a pain when it comes to trying to work things, so I'll need to give it a wee mess about with it, see if I can get it to work. If I do get it to work, I'll make sure to do a video, but in the meantime, things will just need to wait. Yeah, this was done brilliantly, wasn't it? All I wanted to do was demonstrate zip discs, and it won't even work. So, anyway, thank you for watching. I've got some more special things lined up. Uh, keep safe, like, subscribe, and enjoy whatever weird and wonderful videos come out of this channel within the next God knows how long. Thank you and good night.